Get out of my mind, novice. There is a war to be won. Hey, all you uh, StarCraft players, uh, especially you Terran players, but also you Protoss and Zerg players, don't turn this video off just because you see it's a Terran setup, because there are some pointers and some tips in here that might help you set up an efficient hockey uh, setup that actually works for you. Because I know there are a lot of people out there who are, uh, are really kind of struggling. If you have those standard Blizzard hockey setup, you're probably struggling with those hockeys, and uh, they're, they're very problematic, and there's... There's a few reasons I'll explain why they are, and as I go through these principles, you'll see that the Blizzard defies some of these principles in the way they, they gave the standard hockey setup, and that's probably why you're running into some problems if you use the standard, and that's probably why you're watching this video. You're probably looking for a hockey setup that's efficient but intuitive because I know they have the grid setup, which puts everything uh, right where you could reach it with one hand, but the grid setup is, is kind of problematic because it's not very intuitive. And it takes a little bit of getting used to. So uh, most people want it. I mean, because there's a lot of keys that Blizzard gives you that actually work pretty well. But then they have those few keys out there that kind of just mess everything up. So I'm, I'm going to address those concerns here in that video. And to start, I'm going to start with units. And uh, one <clears throat> thing that really has made a difference for me is uh, the patrol key. Uh, I set it as R, and that's gonna. I'm gonna use that to introduce my first principle because uh, the patrol key was at P, and the problem with P is that it's all the way on the other side of the keyboard, and so you don't want any keys where you have to move your hand to reach them. You want to be able to put all your keys close enough to where they can be reached with your left hand without moving your left hand, which is why I left R. Uh, I moved R to patrol M I just left because I never used that anyways so it's it's out there but I don't use it so I didn't care about it and then G and C you can reach your left hand just fine uh, B and X now the reason now I'm gonna introduce my second principle here as to why I made advanced structure X and that's because you don't want to group uh, hockeys together if you can avoid it uh, B and V are right next to each other, so you'll go to uh, build a basic structure, and you'll hit V, and you'll be in the wrong menu, and so that could be problematic. And, and that's, I mean, just hit escape and go back to the right menu, whatever. Uh, it, it'll slow you down a bit, but where it could really be problematic is with units and special abilities. Now, you get some real problems here if you group your hockeys together for your special abilities. Like, uh, let's say I, I made this Z because it, it fits with the grid, and that's intuitive enough for me. And uh, then uh, I made this E, and I didn't make it X because X is right next to Z. And I don't want to EMP something when I'm trying to snipe it, and I don't want to snipe something when I want to EMP it. Because if you put them together, there's, you'll have the tendency occasionally to hit the wrong key and use the wrong ability. And where I had a real problem with this was with uh, my call downs. You see I made this V instead of C. I would I would go to call down a, a supply depot and I would scan my own base because I'd hit the wrong key. So I spread those keys out to reduce the probability of me scanning my own base when I need to call down supply because that's the worst thing in the world because now you're still supply blocked and you just scanned your own base. So you're out of energy, you don't have your supply depot, you're in trouble so that's one of the reasons uh, so that's my second principle especially special abilities where, where it's where it will make the biggest difference try to avoid grouping hockeys together and uh, my third principle will be uh, keep it as intuitive as possible so uh, as you can see I didn't change any of these uh, stop hold attack because those are very intuitive I don't really have to think much to to know, okay, stop keys S, hold keys H, attack keys A. I can reach them all with my left hand, and it works very well. So, for the ones that are intuitive and aren't giving you any trouble, don't don't bother changing them. You don't have to change all the keys. Blizzard gives you a lot of good keys that work well. Cloak, C, D, cloak, D, cloak. That works great for me. Uh, but some of them can be problematic, like uh, land and uh, like lift off and land. Uh, I made them both D because you can't lift off and land at the same time so it won't be a problem uh, just leaving both the same hockey no problem uh, L was problematic because it's on the other hand other side of the keyboard I have to take my hand I have to lift my hand up to reach the other side if you have to move your hand you have to look at the keyboard you're gonna run into problems so if you can just keep your hand all in without 
all in the same spot without moving it to reach all those keys, then uh, you're not going to have to look at the keyboard so much. And the less you have to look at the keyboard, the more efficient your gameplay is going to be. Like when you think about those people who type without even looking at the keyboard, just they type so fast. And so if you could if you could hit your your hotkeys that, that fast, and you can trust me, it's just muscle memory. As soon as you 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 train your hand to learn where those keys are, then you're gonna you're gonna your APM is gonna increase because you're gonna be able to find your hotkeys much quicker. And so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is uh, research and uh, that. Okay, I set up basically as a grid style and. Research is a little more forgiving than special abilities. Special abilities, you're you're using them at a very uh, high uh, intensity situation, very intense situation. So you, your APM is going to be very high, and you and you're going to need those abilities on the fly. Uh, research is a little more forgiving. If you hit the wrong research key, just hit escape. Do the right research, and, and so that's why I left these as a grid, and so it does put them c close together. But it's it's very uh, easy to to know where where those research is where that research is going to be instead of trying to memorize a whole bunch of hotkeys for a whole bunch of different research just look where it is uh and then use the key that matches that grid location and and you'll hit the research just fine and i know this works because i use it and i haven't had any problems with this setup for my research and building also same thing uh i set up as a grid as well qwert for all of my buildings QWRT. It takes a little bit of getting used to, especially with the Banshee and the Raven and things like that. Since Raven is R, uh, you, you're gonna when, when you first switch, you might have some trouble with that. But to remain consistent, I left that like that, and it, uh, I don't have any problems with that. Like I said, building units and doing research is a little more forgiving than uh, special abilities. You could build the wrong unit, cancel it, you'll be okay. Uh, you hit, you use the wrong special ability. It's like there's no taking that error back. And uh, on everything here, yeah, I spread apart my attachments. Uh, C and Z instead of C and X because again, same problem. You build the wrong attachment, you have to cancel it. You're gonna lose some money, and it's kind of frustrating. You don't want to waste money because you keep building wrong attachment. So spreading these out uh, has saved me a lot of grief because I don't build the wrong attachment so often. Uh, I rarely do actually. It's not a problem for me at all anymore. I always build the right one because they're spread out instead of right next to each other. So yeah, so just to reiterate, so uh, for all of you Zerg or Protoss players, uh, just focus on the key principles. Uh, the keys that are intuitive, like you know, stop, hold, attack, very intuitive. Don't mess with them. If you're not having any problem with it, don't mess with them. Uh, but if you have keys where your special abilities are bunched together, try to find a way to spread them out. You know, even even if you have to go to something that isn't intuitive, it's better to spread it out so you're not using wrong ability, like Q for nuke. Okay, it's going to take me a little learning to get used to that, but once I do, it's not going to be a problem. I'll just know nuke, Q, okay, whatever. Uh, nuke them. And I'm not going to accidentally EMP them when I'm trying to nuke them or anything crazy like that. And, uh, and uh, also, don't put any hotkeys on the right hand side of the keyboard to where you have to move your hand to reach them again lift off and land it's one you're going to lose use a lot as Terran L is on the other side no good uh, patrol uh, P is on the other side no good and also one last thing uh, when I set up my armies I use the numbers one two three and four for my uh, army units and then five through nine for buildings and this works pretty good because 1, 2, 3, and 4 are pretty close to uh, all your hotkey groupings on the left hand side. So you, the, you don't have to move your hand so much to reach your army hotkeys. So when you when you control group your units, set them into 1, 2, 3, and 4. That, that way your units are, are in the same vicinity as all your special abilities and your attack commands and all that. So try to keep them as grouped together as possible and it'll make your micro in battles much more efficient it'll reduce the probability if you spread them out it'll reduce the probability of using the wrong uh, special ability uh, in very high intensity low forgiveness situations and uh, yeah and, and make them all reachable but again leave the ones that are intuitive that means you have less to learn it means you can adapt to the new hockey setup very quickly and you can uh, start to improve your efficiency and gameplay and uh, start to move up on the ladder. 
because uh, yeah you you may not think it's a big deal but it kind of is you know you'll lose games because you're using the wrong ability at the wrong moment or you you know scan when you, you call out mules like little things like that can cost you games so uh, you want to be efficient but you don't want to throw games because you're using the wrong ability or anything like that so keep it intuitive keep them close together and uh, space them out where you can so uh, thank you for watching I hope these tips help you and will help make give you a hockey setup that's a little more efficient and uh, I will catch you guys later